Today we have the Kuki Shinobu Dispelling Disaster video. This is her collected miscellany. I'm gonna have an open mind with this one. I'm gonna just watch the video, see what she can do first, and then I'll give my thoughts. I'm not gonna give any opinions yet. Let's check it out. You may be forgiven for wondering how an organization as chaotic as the Arataki Gang has managed to survive as long as it has. Yeah, I do wonder that. Despite the near daily conflict they stir up and frequent stints in jail. Somehow, the fallout of their antics is successfully contained time and again. Luckily for them, it's the all... Arataki Gang does have one member who actually has their head screwed on. Because of Kuki Shinobu. <sighs> Don't tell me they did it again. <laughs> Kuki Shinobu doesn't go looking for trouble, but it always finds its way to her via the company she keeps. This gives her a wealth of experience in cleaning up after others. Okay. No matter how tricky things get, Shinobu is always able to help her friends out of a tight spot with the aid of her electrovision, deftly diffusing the situation oh, I doubt every it's that. time. If there were qualifications for expedition expertise, Kuki Shinobu would likely be certified at the highest level. When Kuki is Shinobu the, yep, is okay. dispatched on a 20-hour expedition in Inazuma, she will obtain increased rewards. That's really good, too, because now that's two characters do that now. Kuki Shinobu's normal attack can combo up to four strikes, dealing physical damage to enemies. Her charged attack consumes a certain amount of stamina to yep. perform two swift strikes to the front, dealing physical damage. So I want to see what the skill and the alt. When she casts her elemental skill, Shinobu consumes some HP to create a ring of sanctification dealing electro damage to surrounding enemies. Oh, wow, yeah, so... The Ring of Sanctification follows the active character and periodically deals electro damage to nearby enemies, while also healing active characters nearby. The healing amount scales with Shinobu's max HP. HP consumed by her elemental skill will not decrease her HP lower than a certain level. Mmm, okay. After unlocking the talent Breaking Free, when Kuki Shinobu's HP is low, she will gain an increased healing bonus. Oh, nice. That's not as bad as a thought of it. The gang causes her no end of trouble. It's the one place Kuki Shinobu has the freedom to be herself. After unlocking the talent Heart's Repose, the healing effect and damage dealt by Sanctifying Ring will increase based on mm. Shinobu's elemental mastery. So she's like she split scales. Is EM when and Shinobu Max HP? When unleashes her elemental burst, she stabs her blade into the ground, creating a field that excoriates evil. This field deals continuous electro damage, based on Shinobu's Max HP. Mm. When she casts her elemental burst, if Shinobu's HP is low, the field will last longer. It's interesting. Shinobu is uncertain of the criteria for obtaining a vision. But that doesn't stop her from taking full advantage of its power. In combat, Shinobu supports her teammates by using her elemental skill to create a ring of sanctification. Right. Besides healing nearby active characters, the ring also creates ideal conditions for elemental reactions, allowing her teammates to easily gain the upper hand. I love the Elon when use there. Full, Shinobu unleashes her elemental burst, creating a cleansing field that deals continuous electro damage to enemies in its AOE, paving the way to a decisive victory. It doesn't look like meaty enough, you know? To most, Reminds the me of world Zinian's provides verse. boundless possibilities, and people are free to make their own choices as long as they are ready to accept the consequences. Fortunately, Kuki Shinobu is a talented individual, and the troubles stirred up by the Arataki gang are a price worth paying for her freedom. Yeah. To thank Kujo Sara for an introduction, Shinobu once treated her to drinks at Uyu Restaurant. Oh, <laughs> ain't that sweet. I doubt that the Tenryo Commission General could have ever imagined a throwaway comment she made over drinks with her friend would end up ensuring the longevity of the Arataki gang, cementing their place as a thorn in her side for years <laughs> to come. Where's Shinobu, uh, uh, Sara? All right. So it looks like she does scale off of two different things. She has split scaling. Uh, for the most part, it's a max HP. Uh, it's max HP, and then you get like some bonuses if your HP is low. Also, once you unlock a certain passive of hers, then she scales off of EM for that passive. So, eh, you know, honestly, 
it's not really like bad per se. I just don't know where Shinobu would fit when it comes to team comps. You know, you could definitely put her in some like maybe like a taser team or like a, you know, like a driver team or the same thing. But I don't know. I don't know what to think about her so far. I got to like play her, try and like fill her out and see, you know, how she can work with different teams, what she can do. But I you know I mean, you have free healing, essentially. Uh, you have like free reactions without actually having to cast anything besides her little sanctifying ring. I noticed here you see that she pops her skill and because those are pyro slimes, she activates uh, overloaded. And that can kind of be, that can be like an interesting way to get enemies away from you. But honestly, in most cases, you want them to be close to you so you can attack them. So this might be a bit of a hindrance if you do overload it because you're going to knock them all the way back. But so once again, I do not think the character is bad per se, even with the split scaling. Honestly, I just don't really know where you would put her at. That's the only thing I can say about her is like, where, what team would you put her with? I guess, like I said, a taser team. Um, her ult kind of reminds me of Zinian's. I know that's like a, not a good sign, but <laughs> honestly, it lasts longer with low health. And yeah, I mean, I just don't really know where I would put her at. But it is essentially free heals while you're fighting. You know, I mean, like, I mean, anybody else can put down something to heal you, like Kokomi can put down her jellyfish and whatnot. But, you know, I mean, at least in this case, you're also dealing damage, but you're also healing at the same time. So it's a nice touch. It's just, you know, where would she fit on your team? And I suppose if you wanted to, you could use Kuchosara to buff uh, Shinobu. But as far as the build for her goes, I would assume like a two piece tenacity, maybe, you know, just for more health. You want max HP for sure, and then maybe like a little bit of EM, a little bit of elemental mastery. But yeah, honestly, she's just going to be somebody who kind of shares attack and healing at the same time. So it just depends on how you build her. But honestly, yeah, I mean, she's not as bad as I thought people were saying her out to be. Now, I totally love her design, though. I mean, like the green hair, the tattoos, the mask, you know, like the, the character is... One of the better looking characters, honestly, you know, the outfit looks insane. Like the whole ninja shinobu type of outfit fits Inazuma very, very well. Um, I also love the little like spinning, uh, spinning blade, but the like separating electro blade. But I will give her a shot for myself and see if I actually like the character or not. Um, if I can use the character in my teams, just to see and kind of get a feel for the character. But that will do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what will you be pulling for Kuki Shinobu? Or will you go ahead and skip on this one? Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you very soon in the next one.